give to those genuinely in need. Even if, in your opinion, they do not deserve the help. And maybe they are not responsible human beings. Maybe they have behaved badly. And you heard them when they were talking about some people will just call, you know, this one doesn't deserve help. Okay, it doesn't deserve help. No argument. But does it need help? You know, there are two separate questions. Does he deserve help? Is separate from does he need help? The answer to does he deserve help may be no. Because the person is not a responsible human being. He just goes about maybe smoking in their hand. So does he deserve help? Maybe the answer is no. But what if the man is sick and he needs medical, urgent medical attention? Does he need help? Don't confuse the two. The fact that the man does not deserve help does not mean he should not get help. You give people what they need, not necessarily what they deserve. Give people what they need, not necessarily what they deserve. Because you are the evidence of something that you did not deserve that you got. If Jesus were to mark iniquity, who can stand? John chapter 8, verse 3 to 11, one of the passages that just encourages me every time. They said to him, we found this woman in adultery in fact, we saw the man on top of her. We saw it to Jesus. This is not somebody told me. We saw it. And they told us, if we catch anybody, what should we do? She did not deserve mercy. But she needed mercy. Do you understand? She was guilty as charged. And Jesus said, okay, all of you that are carrying stone, anyone who does not have any sin, let him be the first to, you know the rest of the story. All of them disappear. <laughs> Give to those genuinely in need. Even if in your opinion, they don't deserve it. Mm -hmm.